Begin at 5 with the city of Santa Maria going solar to save money. News Channel reporter Dave Alley joins us live from City Hall. And Dave, a recently approved plan is being discussed there tonight. Well, that's right, CJ. The plan was actually approved late last year and right now in council chambers behind me, uh, the council for the uh, the commission, I should say, for the Recreation and Parks uh, Department. They are receiving a plan from the Public Works Department about any potential impacts this solar power project may have on the three park locations that the Recreation and Parks Department oversees here in the city of Santa Maria. In the sky over Santa Maria Tuesday afternoon. It is a beautiful day. We're so fortunate to have great weather here. Um, you know, what a great place to put solar. Which is what Santa Maria is doing with its new solar power project. It's a solar power purchase agreement. Um, it's about a 4.4 megawatt solar project across eight different sites throughout the city. The panels will be positioned on parking lot canopies similar to the ones at Hancock College and be located at the city's wastewater treatment plant, city well number 12, town center west shopping center, police department, transit yard, Maldonado Youth Center, Hagerman Sports Complex, and Miami Park. This is going to be a great benefit to the community just in terms of offsetting the costs of our electrical um, usage for all of our facilities which have been rising considerably along with other required financial needs. Everybody's power bill has been going up. We're doing our part to try to keep our power bill down. What's great about the project is there's no upfront cost to the city. Um, it's a power purchase agreement and so we'll be buying the electricity from the solar provider and it'll save we think at a minimum $12.8 million over 20 years. Another example of Santa Maria's new smart city, safe city mission. We're always looking for win-wins where we have good environmental measures, cost savings measures, and just overall smart business. And that's what the city's looking to do. The project will minimally impact the park sites slated for construction, including here, the Abel Maldonado Youth Center, by requiring the removal of a small number of trees to accommodate solar panel installation. For the most part, anything that we um, would need to remove, we're going to reinstall somewhere. Um, so that would be, in terms of removing trees, we would replant trees elsewhere. And, and probably in some park or um, public way that, that really makes sense, that has uh, more room to grow. And again, the city council members, they approved this project again late last year. Now right behind me again, the Recreation of Parks Commission, they are receiving that report from Public Works to determine if any uh, sort of uh, changes uh, or adjustments will need to be made in order for those solar panels to be installed. Those solar panels, by the way, will begin to, to be installed here in Santa Maria sometime later on this year. And the overall project and construction should last a couple of years. Reporting live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.